Hey everyone and welcome to the second Victoria 2 mining lesson. In this lesson we'll learn how to change a country's flag. Now a couple of notes before we begin. First of all we will only be learning how to change an existing flag. We will not be creating a new one. We will be learning how to create a whole new flag in the creating a new country lesson. So stay tuned for that if you want to learn about that. Also to complete this lesson you will need a program to edit the country flag files. For the purpose of this lesson I will be using paint.net but if you have another software which you are comfortable with using that can edit graphic files that should be fine as well but if it doesn't work for you you can try paint.net I will have a link to that in the description of the video. So let's roll the intro and get to it. So there are four steps that we need to do in order to change our country flag. First of all, we'll need to create a mod file in case we don't already have one. If you have one, you can just continue and forward. If you don't have a mod file, you will need to learn how to do that. And I will have a link to that video in the upper right corner of the screen. So make sure to go ahead and watch that before you proceed with this lesson. And now we'll go to step number two which is creating our folder and file structure. This is essential to tell the game where our flag is located and how to access it. So for the purpose of this lesson, I will be changing the flag of Haiti. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open my mod folder, the mod folder that I created in step one. And my mod is called the flag mode. And I will also have the Victoria 2 root folder open that is the main folder of the game usually inside of the steam folder in case you are using steam if not then just locate it wherever you installed it on your computer and what we need to do now is to copy the directories that will lead the game to our new graphic files uh, in the victoria 2 folder we have a folder called gfx so what i'm going to do i'm going to create the same folder in my mod folder so in here, in mod, flag mod, I'm going to create another folder and I will also call it GFX, just like this. Inside of the GFX folder, we have a folder called flags. So I'm just going to create this folder as well inside of the GFX folder. So there we go, flags. And now I need to locate the flag of Haiti. Now flags in this folder are named after the country tag. So I will need to know the country tag of Haiti. Now while Haiti might be quite simple, if you're doing it for another country, it might be more difficult to find it. But there is a way to make things a little bit easier. In order to locate the tag, I can go to Victoria 2, the main folder, go to history, countries, and in here just search for the country that I need my flags for. So in this case I'll search for Haiti. And I can see that the tag, the three letter designation of the country is HAI. So that is what I'm going to search for in my flag folder. So let's go back to that. GFX, flags. And in here I'll just type HAI. Now please note that it's important that you include the flags for all the ideologies that exist in the game. Obviously, if you are creating new ideologies, you will need to name your flags with that new ideology. All right, so that is all we need from this folder. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change these flags. So I'm going to open paint.net and I'm just going to drag all of these flags in here. Now it's quite natural that you would want different flags for the different ideologies that exist in the game. But for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to make it simple and I'm just going to give it the same flag overall. And of course, this is going to be the bikini bottom flag. So I'm going to open that as well. I'm going to select it by pressing Ctrl and A on my keyboard, then copy it. And now I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to keep the canvas size just like this and of course it's a bit too big so I'm going to reduce the size of it just like this. I'm also holding shift to make sure that the proportions are maintained. 
So let's just make this like that and move it to the center. More or less like, no, that's a bit too much. Let's go like this. Yeah, okay, that seems centered. Let's say, there we go, just like this. And I'm just going to apply it to all my other flags, just like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Excellent. So now we need to save our new flag files. So I'm just going to go to File, Save, and it's automatically going to select the settings for me. And I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm going to do the same thing in here. And the same thing in here. And I can just press this button here. And just save it here like that. Excellent. So now our new flag files are ready. So let's see what's the next step. Okay, step number four, we just need to test them in the game. So this is basically all you need to do in order to change a flag in Victoria 2, quite simple. So let's go ahead into the game and see if it works. I'm going to start the Victoria 2 launcher. I'm going to select my flag mode and let's see what happens. All right, so we can now clearly see that Haiti now has the appropriate flag of bikini bottom and we're essentially done. So that is all you need to know about changing flags in Victoria 2. We are done, as you can see, quite simple. If you have any questions or if something didn't work, please let me know in the comments of this video. Press the like button in order to give this video a boost so that other people can see how simple it is to create new flags in Victoria 2. Subscribe to the channel to be notified when new lessons are posted. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video, lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.